Hey YouTube, what's going on? I bought a used touring car here and I decided I wanted to clean it up a little bit so I've been taking some of the screws out of the bottom and so forth and ran into one that was really tight so needless to say the head of the screw stripped out um, I was taking this servo assembly out and the screw went up into this aluminum piece and like I say it stripped out so I drilled the head off and what I'm left with is that I need to get that little bit of steel screw out of this aluminum piece so I don't know if this is going to work but I've read that you can use this stuff dissolved in water to dissolve the uh, steel screw out of the aluminum without hurting the aluminum I don't know if it's going to do anything to the anodizing but uh, I don't really care about that as long as we can get that screw out of there so guess I will try to find a glass container and head out to the garage and see what I can do. Alright YouTube, here we are out in the garage. I got a little bit of water in this Pyrex cup. I'm uh, warming it up because they say it works better when it's warm. Um, I have no idea how much water to alum, alum, whatever this stuff is. I have no idea what the ratio is supposed to be. I did read somewhere that it's supposed to be pretty saturated so put a good bit in there it's still dissolving but um, we're gonna dip this thing in and see what it does if I can do it one-handed not doing anything at the moment. I thought maybe it would bubble or something, but... Uh, where's the screw at? Over here. Might be bubbling a wee little bit. Well, I'm gonna let it sit in there and uh, if something starts to happen, I'll turn the camera back on. Alright, I don't know if this will show up on camera, but it is starting to bubble. Oops. Focus. Come on now. Of course the boiling water there on the bottom but you can see at that corner if it would focus and that's going to boil too much hang on you can kind of see it there i think all the little teeny tiny bubbles that's better now you can see it it might actually work. Then I don't have to buy a new one of these pieces. That'd be great. Just have to find a screw for it. Alright, we're going to let her do whatever the heck it's doing. Be back in a little bit. Maybe a few hours. I don't know. Alright guys, we're half an hour into this. Uh, I turned the heat off. I can't stay up with this thing much longer. It's already 10 o'clock. So I'm just going to let it sit here overnight as it cools off. It is still bubbling, so that's a plus. I'm, I think I heard somewhere that it does work cold, it just works faster when it's warmed up, so I'm going to let it sit overnight and check it tomorrow afternoon and see what happens. Got nothing to lose at this point, so I will say the, uh, the water is tinted slightly blue, so it must be taking a little bit of the anodizing off, but like I said, don't really care about that, so. Well, YouTube, I decided to check on it here this morning before I went to work, and what we got is, um, a chunk <laughs> all those uh, little crystals of that stuff apparently solidify the water is not frozen or anything but those little crystals all came back together or something but I'm gonna warm it back up a little bit I think they'll probably break back up but we'll see alright guys I think we left off with the uh, the solution had kind of solidified on the bottom and I was reheating it and uh, it got warm and it redissolved, and then, um, yeah, that happened. So, anyway, nothing was hurt. I was fine. I just kind of, it, it didn't explode. It almost like it imploded because it's all basically right there. There's a couple pieces on the floor, but for the most part, it's right there. Um, since that's broke and junk now, 
I moved everything inside. We have a newer stove inside. It has like a little warming station towards the back of it. Um, doesn't get anywhere near as hot as a regular burner, but I got a new glass container. Uh, it's just a uh, like a canning jar basically. Um, that's inside. It's been inside since about uh, I think I did it about noon today. So we'll go in and see what that looks like. All right, YouTube, we had success. Um, as I said earlier, I don't care about the anodizing. Um, it did take it off. However, the bolt has had completely disintegrated at about noon today, and I left it in until 5 o'clock when I got home from work just to make sure every last little bit was out. Um, and it, it didn't look this bad at noon. There was still quite a bit of blue left. Then I left it in, you know, about five more hours, and boom, anodizing is pretty much gone. But don't care about that. What I care about is the fact that you can now take a screw and run it right in to the hole that had a broken off bolt in it, just like that. How awesome is that? No drilling required. I say that's a win. I don't know how much these parts are, probably not super expensive, but I don't have to order it and wait for it now, so there we go. Um, since we're on to uh, making a video, I want to take some really fine sandpaper to this, kind of, well, get the rest of the anodizing off first of all and put a slight polish on it. I don't know if I'll just polish it, polish it, and make it shiny, or I might try some bluing on it and see if that does anything. Maybe make it black. Um, yeah, let's try that. Stand by. Alright, this is some 1500 grit wet dry sandpaper on an old mirror. Uh, let's see, a little bit of oil. I don't have any water down here, but oil works almost as good. Alright guys, it's finished. Bolt is extracted. It looks better now. The anodizing is gone, but polished aluminum looks just as good, right? Alright, anyway, that little project's finished up. I'm glad that worked. Um, well, I guess we shouldn't call it a project, we should call it an experiment. <laughs> anyway, it worked. Um, I'm going to try to get the rest of this thing put together. Uh, if this helped you out, like the video, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Thank you.